Michael, I, I know we've been talking about timing and hey, more time the better. And and but what if you don't have a lot of time? You know, what if your, you know, your cash flow and, and, and your circumstances are such that you don't have a year, you don't have six months, you're really just trying to make it to the next quarter. Um, what are some things that they should consider doing? Well, I think, you know, one of the questions is, can you make more time? And that's where we go back to extending runway. Um, extending runway, you can either do that operationally, or you can do that by either selling off assets or, you know, divesting various parts. So trying to create some runway to see if you can do that. And then I think the, 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 the reality, Mike, is that um, it's going to, it's likely going to impact your, your valuation, but essentially you go through the same steps, but you just have to do them more quickly. So as Scott pointed out, you, you know, you basically, maybe you don't spend as much time on the, on the book or, or, or in the go-to-market piece. Um, you go more quickly. Uh, you also probably, you may go broader, but you're likely to more, more likely to go to say strategics or, or people that could move more quickly as opposed to parties that um, would take longer to do it. And and then I think it uh, it's really about driving the process. The biggest the biggest challenge in anything is that if you if you have more time, everybody wants to take more time. And when you have less time, you have to just ha make sure that you've got a partner uh, that's with you to make sure that they're driving those timelines uh, to be aligned with what you can do. 